But the ways you can play extends even into community as well. We feature 16 player multiplayer races, public lobbies, and Forza has always included some pretty interesting race types, cat and mouse. We have things like capture uh, or uh, what is it called? Um, keep the it and tag. We have uh, keep it clean, which is like demolition derby. And so while we have racing for hardcore racers, we have races that you know a 13 year old kid can just have fun playing with cars. Well, for Forza 4, we've added Top Gear Football, and, uh, or Top Gear Soccer. Top Gear Soccer works basically as you'd expect. There's a big ball in the middle. You can play five aside, you can play eight aside. There's goals on each side. And in the show, they had Igos versus Foxes, the little small uh, city cars. We found on our team, we tend to play position soccer. So that means we've got defenders tend to be SUVs like the X5. And in the midfield, we've got STIs and Evos that you can uh, really move around a lot. And then as striker, we tend to use supercars. Why wouldn't you? You don't have to pay for it. But where that gets more interesting is in car clubs. And unfortunately, our servers are down right now, so I can't show all of these features. So I'll talk quickly and we'll get on track. Car clubs works like you'd expect. If you've played any first person shooter in the last 10 years, it's like clans. So I can start a clan, I'll be the president. I can ask you to join, you'll be a vice president. We can all get together. But where it gets more powerful is in the Forza DNA. And that's car collecting, tuning, customizing, upgrading. So it's like a cooper uh, cooperative buying club. I can save up my money and buy the Veyron. You could save up your money and buy the Enzo. And I don't have to buy the Enzo because I can drive yours. And you don't have to drive the Bugatti because you can drive mine. So we are stronger together. But then when you think about painting, you know what's happening on our, our team is we've got a great painter that's in our club and he paints all the jerseys for Top Gear Soccer. So that when we go and play the game, our jerseys look really, really unique to us and kind of support our club style. But if you have great tuners, it's very powerful as well because the tuner makes all the drivers faster. He can tune all these cars that the drivers go set hot laps on and therefore the club is actually faster on the club leaderboards. Now we also have rivals mode. I went into an E3. It's a great mode and this features more top gear integration. You can actually do the reasonably priced car in here. So we have a challenge where it's on the top gear test track and a Kia Seed and you basically can challenge your friends, win money, they can challenge you back. It's very social that way.